an explosion and a fire destroys two mobile homes. A blast so strong, Jeff Kurth tells me he felt shards of glass skim across his head. I'm Steve Eaton, your neighborhood reporter in Rosemond. Kurth and his family escaped the aftermath when the fire engulfed their home on March 18th. Every time I come driving this way, I just, every night I just think, I just want to go home. I, I just want to turn this way and instead I got to turn that way. I've lived here for 16 years. This is my, my security. This is my blanket and I don't have it no more. Jeff Kurth says he was home with his son Joshua during the afternoon on March 18th. That's when he heard a loud blast and glass shatter around him. He said he thought it was from a sonic boom caused by nearby Edwards Air Force Base. But soon, a fire started. In this video from a neighbor, you could hear him screaming for help. Kurt says Kern County firefighters then struggled to put out the fire. According to KCFD, there was a lack of adequate water supply at Roseman Mobile Home Park. Kurt said they used water from his pressure washing machine that carries 400 gallons, but it wasn't enough to save the home. Kurt adds they lost two of their four cats. However, their pet snake Turbo survived. Love you, buddy. I love you too. And the most hardest thing is to see my kids lose everything. I, it's just hard. I, I want to cry right now, but I, I got to be strong. Neighbors like Flora Patton say they felt helpless during the fire. It's heartbroken because I hear their, I still can hear them scream, my home, my home, my home, mm. you know, and with no water and they're good people. They're good friends. And it, was, it was a nightmare situation. It's very sad. I left messages with the manager of the Roseman Mobile Home Park and they were not returned. Fire crews shuttled water with multiple fire engines driving to a hydrant to fill and bringing water back to the firefighting engine on the scene. Kern County firefighters are accustomed to this tactic due to the many rural locations that we protect. KCFD Public Information Officer John Drucker said in an email, the cause of the fire is yet to be determined, Drucker added. The explosion is suspected to have come from a gas leak, Kurt said. The mobile home that had the explosion was owned by Miguel Bautista. The family of four with the baby due next month was not home at the time. They are trying to find a new place to live. Kurt and his family did not have home insurance, and they're staying with family with the hopes they can find a trailer for more temporary stay. It's just heartbreaking that our house could have been saved. And our cats could have been saved. <laughs> and that's just what's it's so heartbreaking, you know? We didn't need to lose everything. The family tells me they're grateful for the support from the community, including Coach's Sports Bar and the Roseman Queens, among many others. I'm Steve Eaton, your neighborhood reporter.